this is the first crosshair for extreme motherboard that's arrived in Singapore and let's have the first unboxing video on YouTube as well only exclusive to you the viewers of Tech Geek SG and this is Bob over here unboxing the Republic of Gamers crosshair for extreme motherboard from Asus the actual embargo release date of the Crosshair 4 Extreme is actually on the 20th of September so there won't be any benchmark yet because it's still on embargo but let's take a look at the box itself it's like a normal Crosshair 4 formula board as in box but uh, one thing that's made known to everyone is that it's actually using the Lucid Hydra chip which uh, enables Lucid Logics we, uh, I mean Hydra Logic which means you can mix and match your NVIDIA as well as um, ATI graphics card together with now new and improved ROG Connect on the Crosshair 4 Extreme motherboard as well as bundled software called 3D, 3D Max Advantage Advanced Edition as well as the Kapuski Antivirus and looking at the board itself amazing this kind of board really makes me want to just really give it a try but I'll release, I'll release the benchmarks uh, perhaps later after the embargo date but uh, currently at this time let's let's unbox it and maybe uh, take a sneak peek at what we have over here Oops. So overall it looks similar to the crosshair for formula but uh, with improved um, thermal design such as the heat sink over here at the VRM as well as the north bridge area as you can see with it has a better and a larger heat sink fan with uh, a similar heat, uh, heat pipe connected to the south bridge over here with a cool design in the south bridge and one thing to think that there's actually a fan over here at the north bridge uh, I'm not sure if this uh, ROG branding over here will light up if it does it looks really great and what else okay we have support for AM3 processors that means up to your Phenom 2x6 as well as a DDR3 RAM and one one thing special about this uh, different from the actual board from the CBIT presentation uh, back in uh, I, I forgot which date was it but um, they actually have four PCI Express slots but currently we have it at five which means you can actually uh, make use of all the five uh, in the in the later in the year when uh, quad or even uh, multi scaling on the GPU is made possible by the Hydra Logics driver and basically I shouldn't talk more or anything much about it uh, but there are tons of features to be covered which, which will be covered uh, uncovered or released on the 20th of 20th of September which is just uh, maybe a week later okay maybe I can take uh, take a look at the IO ports Over here we have a PS2 which is uh, still found uh, I'm not sure why PS2 port is still found but anyway uh, I think it's part both for your keyboard as well as your mouse Then you have two USB port And your clear CMOS button which is uh, quite handy in the overclocking sessions We have two more USB 2.0 as well as a power eSATA Then we have uh, SP diff then two more USB as well as a fire wire and a power uh, and a power eSATA then we have USB blue color uh, USB headers which uh, I, I, I'm sure you can actually infer that it's USB 3.0 as well as uh, a gigabit internet e ethernet which is actually Intel ethernet uh, instead of your real tech uh, chipset uh, we have the ROG connect button uh, as well as your ROG USB header then we have 8.1 channel audio over here
one thing that I'm really glad is that they actually left out your IDE as well as your floppy. That's like finally, man. And you have the ROG buttons over here for start, reset, as well as a core and locker technology. Uh, EPS 8 pin. Let's take a tour around the motherboard. Uh, also, voltage reading points. A go button. 8 SATA ports over here at the side. Front panel headers, as well as uh, two 4 pin Molex connectors so that get the extra 12 volt, 12 volt uh, to make your whole overclocking session of the GPU a more successful one. Other features will be uncovered in, I mean, on 20th of September, so stay tuned. Okay, you have here the accessories box for the Crosshair 4 Extreme. Firstly, over here we have the Republic of Gamers uh, sticker for your case. Then we have lots of SATA 6 gigabit per second cables as well as your uh, USB and Firewire uh, PCI expansion. Okay, not really PCI, but front panel, but it's not front panel. User's Guide as well as the labels for your SATA and hard drive cables then you have thermal sensor probes a crosshair for extreme driver CD which is Windows 7 ready crossfire bridge we have a padded IO shoe then we have a cable ties as well as uh, ASUS Q connectors. Then over here we have something called the Bluetooth module. And these are actually for your ROG probe using the voltage reading points for extreme overclocking and accurate readings. A uh, Republic of Gamers USB cable. And that's it. For more information about this product, you can visit my blog at www.zoomycom.blogspot.com or feel free to email me at whysook.tagsg at gmail.com. Thank you.